Welcome everyone. In this video, uh, we are going to learn how to make the poly safety egg, which uh, could save a god run and possibly any other run if you have the materials. So this was originally brought to my attention by a user on Reddit with the username, Redditor's username. Uh, this is the post where I originally um, took the ideas from and worked with them and uh, we found out that the explosion while you're polymorphed is only added if you have explosion projectiles uh, on the chunk of soil so while you're polymorphed if you have like glass cannon or anything like that it won't be applied to the spells even though it's in your inventory it's super strange but We'll, we'll get into this build and we'll go show it off real quick and then we'll do glass cannon. So the whole concept is you summon a hollow egg and the hollow egg will hold all this goodies and that'll keep you safe from polymorphine. So how this reads is hollow egg double spell. So the double spell is going to cast this chunk of soil with all these projectile explosive projectiles. You don't need that many. I just have five because that's a pretty good amount to have. And they're pretty common. Uh, LePunk was able to get, I think, 17. So uh, I have like seven or so in my run. Um, five is a pretty reasonable amount. Like I said, you can do it with probably, I would say one is the minimum. Uh, you want this to encase you in soil. And then it'll cast this increased duration, increased duration, uh, delayed spell cast. So how this reads is it's going to cast this way after uh, when you're going to start drowning as a sheep. And it's going to cast this matter eater with homing. So uh, this is going to be applied to all three of these slime mist because this casts three spells. And then they're going to fly around you while you're a sheep and eat everything around you. So let's go test it out and uh, show off how it works. Alright, so we just fall in the polymorphine, and then these two eggs will activate, and uh, they should keep us safe from dying. They don't, because apparently when you load a save... Oh, well, that is good information. So, I had originally loaded the save up uh, after having the hollow eggs. I guess the hollow eggs do not keep their information, and they should be duds. It looks like they are, so... We'll just actually go make two more, because, um, yeah, I, I had refreshed the Matter Eater, and we'd used two of them, so that's really good information to know about the, uh, the safety egg, is you need to make two new ones if you crash or if you load up a save, so let's do that right now. We'll make one, two, grab them, and then now we'll go test it, and it should work properly with our nice smoky wand. And boop. And then it's going to create matter eater. And then there you go. We have a nice little eggshell to protect us from anything. And uh, yeah, it's something else. And you might ask, why are you carrying two eggs? If you have just one, it sometimes leaves some polymorphine in the layers. And you don't want that. You want to destroy everything around you. So I, I've noticed with two, it destroys pretty much everything. You can see that there's some above it, but that doesn't matter because uh, you're, you're most likely going to dig down or find a different way out. But it's something else to keep you alive from polymorphine. And uh, let's go test it with a glass cannon and see how, how it performs. All right, we got our six glass cannons and uh, living on the edge. Glass cannon only stacks twice and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should ask Alias about how uh, glass cannon stacks. And then we'll we'll summon in our uh, two safety eggs. Uh, so we're doing it in water. You can catch them. Uh, with this wand, it fires a little bit too quick for my taste, and I don't trust myself to catch them. And if you don't catch them, uh, it will kind of kill you, especially if you don't have explosion immunity. So we'll, we'll go test these out. So normally you would think that all these explosion projectiles on this chunk of soil would be amplified by the glass cannon. Uh, 
but that is not the case and uh, we'll show off right now how how it works and it's going to be exactly the same there we go so this was with um the uh the glass cannon and living on the edge but it works out the exact same and that's because the sheep kind of it, it doesn't have the perks or else you would be able to like use your one-ups and stuff like that but the sheep doesn't get the perk so this is kind of summoned by the sheep and it's it's kind of weird but regardless it works with a uh, glass cannon and living on the edge so if uh if anyone wants to go that build for their god run then obviously it's uh something that you can do and then for stuff like this this is kind of just proof of concept uh there's a lot of stuff you can do and change out and swap around uh i think matter eater is the safest bet but since the sheep kind of summons that projectile it's weird that homing works on the mist even though the sheep summons the projectile i have no clue there has to be more tests done with that but if you wanted to throw like healing on there i tried to get a, a circle of vigor to last long enough so that the sheep like could stay in the circle uh but that didn't work and then i tried like healing projectile the healing projectile needs to like have uh open area to spawn so this was the easiest and like most convenient solution for right now uh if you do come up with something better then uh by all means you can share it with us and we'll we'll get a another video made and uh make sure that the community knows but for now this is uh this is probably the the best run or sorry the best build to save uh save your run from polymorphine and uh if if you don't um like catch the egg and you don't have explosion immunity it does something like this the game doesn't like it it's still loading so yeah uh definitely spawn the eggs in water that's probably the safest option uh unless you want to just uh encase the world in dirt <laughs> Hopefully everyone has a wonderful evening, noon, and night. Goodbye.